Assalamu alaikum. I am Hiba Abdullah. I was born and brought up in Qatar. I love to read. Books have always been a great part of my life. I suppose it shouldn't come as much of a surprise since my parents are both avid readers. I am the eldest of four girls and to my delight my sisters have a passion for reading too. I was a bit of a quiet kid and books were always my refuge. The library was my favorite place in the whole school and I used to spend a great deal of time over there. In my tight circle of friends half of them enjoyed reading as much as I do so it was a relief for me. As for my ambitions for a while I wanted to be a teacher when I was younger but I realized that it is a very stressful job and I'm not much of a talker anyway so I abandoned that idea. My longest dream was to become a doctor. I loved hospitals and like most of my friends I loved the clean bright hospitals of Qatar and the friendly doctors and nurses. I longed to walk through those hallways wearing a white coat and a stethoscope around my neck. I was never afraid of injections or vaccinations and I was fascinated by needles. So naturally um, after 10th grade I opted for the science stream. I loved science and I scored well in it but I despised maths so I decided to choose bio IP and I loved computers too so it was a win-win. My rosy image of hospitals was shattered when I stepped into the hospitals here in India. I don't know what prompted me to come to India to pursue my 11th and 12th grade. Perhaps it was my desire for a change in scenery or perhaps I felt stifled in my small school in my small town. Whatever it was, it made me take the most impulsive decision I've ever taken. I just woke up one fine day and said to myself, all right, that's it, I'm going to Zaytun. It was all so sudden and before I knew it, I was on a plane to Kerala and I had entered a new phase in my life. Little did I know that the rash decision I made that day would change the course of my life. I came to India as a starry-eyed teenager full of expectations and I won't lie, I was a bit disappointed. Zaytun was still at its starting stages and the facilities were a bit off the mark and there were inconveniences and it was a big change for me. I had left my family behind in Qatar and I had come alone so I felt a little lost. But any shortcomings I found in Zaytun were overridden by the amazing friends I made here. From day one I had the most genuine wonderful friends I could ask for. If I were to narrate my memories and experiences in Zaytun it would take quite a while. My best experience was definitely when I wrote a book and published it in the Sharjah International Book Fair. Countless number of times in the past I had imagined myself writing a book and publishing it but nothing could have prepared me for when it actually happened. At Zaytun I discovered that I have a special talent for writing. I had a deadline so it was a bit of a struggle to finish writing a book within that date but I managed to do it and so did two of my closest friends Sama and Manal. They co-authored a book of poems. When the three of us heard that we would be flying to Sharjah to launch our book, we were ecstatic. Words failed to describe how excited we were. The whole experience is like something out of a dream and to this day it is my happiest memory. However, my life at Zaytun wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. I realized a bit too late that taking biomath had been a bad choice. I had been so blinded by my golden dream to become a doctor that I had ignored my ardent hatred for physics and maths and I took biomath which has both those subjects. I struggled in classes to keep up with subjects that I had neither interest nor talent for. I remember poring enviously over humanities textbooks and realizing that I should have taken humanities. My grades suffered and I realized that the best option for me to pursue was English. I didn't want to take another rash decision so I pondered long and hard over it and came to the conclusion that I'd much rather study a subject that I've always had a passion for than chase after something I'd lost interest in and obviously had no talent for. Then all too soon it was time to say goodbye to the best two years of my life. By now, Zaytun had become a well-established school and I was proud to be among its first batch students. One of the most beautiful outcomes of my life in Zaytun was the qualities and values it inculcated in me. It was my first time living in a hostel and it taught me a lot about life. I learned to be more organized and independent as I had only me to look after myself. 
I learned to read people better. I've always been a relatively calm and collected person, but hostile life put a test to my patience levels and it improved my mindset. I learned to look on the brighter aspect of things and to be more kind and considerate. Living with friends can be really fun, but sometimes it can be a bit trying too. But the best change Zaytun brought in me was definitely spiritual health. Having been brought up in a religiously aware family, I already had the basic habits and practices and I expanded on those in Zaytun. The regular Jamaats, Haddads and Majlis in Noor in Zids pushed me to be a better version of myself. My religious and spiritual knowledge grew considerably and it was a delightful experience. The warm Islamic ambience in Zaytun is unique to Ziggs alone. I've never experienced it elsewhere and I'm grateful to it because it did not leave me when I left Zaytun. Then after a few stressful months of college hunting, I was accepted into the prestigious Farooq College. I was pleasantly surprised as I had never expected to get admission there, but I guess life has funny ways of pushing us forward. I am now a functional English student in Farooq College and I'm grateful to all the twists and turns in my life that brought me here. I am thankful to each and every one who helped me along the way. I am at a confusing age and these three years in India alone without my family has been challenging. I'm thankful to everyone, my friends who give me a shoulder to cry on and always make me laugh, my mentors and teachers for guiding me, my relatives for opening their homes to me at a trying time like this, and my beloved parents and sisters for supporting me all the way from Qatar. Life can get really hard sometimes, but it is up to us to face our demons with a positive attitude. With friends and family by our side, there's nothing we cannot do.